My name is Tony Stringer, and I'm the president of Stringer Industries. I'm Pat Thomason, CEO of Thomason Company. I am Bradley Lum, Chief Executive Officer of MagCore. I'm Zach Taylor, General Manager of Taylor Power Systems. I'm Trent Malloy, President of Laurel Machine and Foundry. I'm Brad Parton, I'm the VP of Operations for the Shingles and Underlayments Division of Atlas Reefing. We manufacture equipment for sawmills primarily, wood products, uh, we make waste wood chippers, waste wood hogs. Thomason sells industrial wood products to the energy sector. One of our main products is utility poles. We do a lot of things related to uh, metal as it, as it pertains to like a, uh, municipalities. Um, so most cities have our benches and our garbage cans and things like that. We make a lot of clothing, a lot of uniforms, uh, a lot of uh, mattresses, both for uh, our prison system, but also for our community colleges and our four-year colleges and other, other areas like that. We have a print shop that's full service that provides a lot of print for state agencies. Since I was 14 years old, man, you know, growing up in the family business, I've always been, you know, infatuated with power generation since I was younger. I've always wanted to come to Taylor Power Systems. We manufacture natural gas, liquid propane, and diesel generators in the standby market. I am fourth generation. It's been in my family since 1911. Law Machine and Foundry was actually started in 1904. We're a job eating shop, so we don't have a product or widget. We do contract manufacturing or repair work for a wide base of, of companies. Our job is to ensure that we have uh, a large number of people that are working, that are, that are doing jobs, that are learning skills, that are um, part of the um, you know, that growing population of people who are givers to the system and not just uh, there and taking or perpetuating the cycles of incarceration. We want to ensure that we're putting um, doses of hope, whether small or large, in people's lives on a daily basis. And my story's kind of kind of strange because this is my hometown. Before I could drive, I would ride through this campus with my family and we would see it and I would know that it's a industry here, but I really didn't know a whole lot about it. You know, who would know that here I am this many years later, uh, a part of what's going on here with a, with a fantastic team. So uh, I've got to see it change from a block building across the road couple of buildings over here with dirt all around them to what you see today which is fantastic. The thing is we're not a corporate structure uh, you know we're, we're locally owned and operated uh, my door is always open if an employee needs to come talk something uh, I see these people more than I see my family. I love what I do I love my job and I love what we do here and the people that work here we try to have the family atmosphere because we are family owned and family operated and family started. The company and the people that work in it mean everything to me. It's something I love, it's something I look forward to. I love spending time with my mom. She's like a mom to everybody here. I don't take for granted that I have my mother at the age that I am now. So I just hang on to every day I have with her. She's a great part of my life. She's my inspiration.